Hi there, so this is a guided eclipse meditation. Um, personally, I wanted to do this meditation because I feel like I've had a lot of fears coming up and anxieties and, um, you know, I just really want to stay present and focused on what my intentions are instead of getting so wrapped up in um, outside chaos and inside chaos. It's good to acknowledge the chaos, but then learn how to release it, set it free, heal it, whatever you want to call it, in a way that's going to be healthy. Um, so I would like to begin this meditation by taking some deep breaths. Personally, um, I am choosing to do this in the bathtub right now as water, especially warm water is extremely healing. Um, it puts us in a place of feeling safe and at ease because that's where we originally came from, the womb. We all started in the womb, which was a very safe, warm place where you're just kind of suspended and carried. You don't have to worry or do anything. So I highly recommend doing meditations like this in the bath especially for deep meditations. Um, put in whatever salts you'd like. Um, I'm using a pink, Him pink Himalayan sea salt and various essential oils like lavender, chamomile, rosemary, lang lang, um, cedar wood and I think that's about it but yeah just whatever you honestly like preferably <laughs> organic healthy holistic products and surround yourself with whatever crystals stones you want um light some good yummy comforting soy candles and if it helps you, especially in the beginning, to have some kind of music playing, something very, very relaxing that's going to put you in a tranquil state of mind, it's a good way, especially for beginners, to kind of be a little more present. And um, personally, I'm choosing to do this one with no music because I just want absolutely no distractions so that whatever comes up you're literally just sitting with and sitting in the dark because again when you're in the womb it's dark and sometimes I think both literally and figuratively <laughs> we're afraid of the dark and we need to not be afraid of facing those dark spaces in ourselves. When we push those down or press them, obviously they just compound or they come out in really strange ways like, I don't know, cheating on people we're in a monogamous relationship with or lying or stealing or um, just having really like really crazy unnecessary fears which I think a lot of us do get you know it's um it's easy to allow our minds to wander and to create scenarios that don't exist so that's why I feel like this meditation is going to be extremely helpful for helping release fears so just get comfortable if you need a neck pillow in the bath or you want to sit on a pillow if you decide not to do this in the bath. Just sit up, lay down, whatever feels comfortable, whatever, and, you know, um, prep 
just deep breaths, especially to start really just calm the central nervous system. Deep inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, and again, really fill up, fill up all of your lungs all the way down to your toes, and on the exhale, slowly releasing. Feel the weight of your body. Just be reminded that you're in a safe space. That you are safe. That you are protected. And if it helps you to call on angels or guides or God, the universe, um, whatever resonates with you, you can call on that, that type of energy. Personally, I love calling on angels, especially Archangel Michael for this type of work. Just know that you are safe. Deep breath. Exhale, think of a beautiful light surrounding you, surrounding your body, surrounding the room, and working its way out. And if you don't want to do that, that's okay. If you just have the energy to focus on surrounding your yourself, your space, that's okay. But gradually you want to work towards extending that energy to as far as you as you want to take it, as far as out into the universe because our our energy is is limitless. Um so I, I really like to envision like a golden, rose gold, light, just beautiful halo that is shimmering around myself. And I like to extend that out as far as I can. Watch it extend out into the universe. Feel a weightlessness around you. Feel the light warming your body, caressing your body. Imagine that you're surrounded by stars. Stars of every shape and size and color. relax into this beautiful space that you've created and honestly you can choose to put whatever you want in that space uh, you can allow some thoughts to start to arise Don't resist whatever comes up, even if it doesn't make you feel good. I'm gonna work into that. So I'll share with you one of my fears um, that's coming up right now. Um, I'm really working on releasing the fear of not being good enough. That's a big one for me. Um, Deep breath, release. Um, it's something I've struggled with for a long time. I think a lot of us do. Maybe we have others in our life put us down or um, maybe it's just even social media or 
media in general and comparing yourself to images that you see or things that you hear. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot as far as career-wise. And deep breath. I'm reminding myself, but also you guys that are listening. Um, you really just want to release that, release those false beliefs, release the beliefs that you're not good enough because wholeheartedly we are perfect in every way, shape, and form just as we are. We literally have been given everything we could possibly need on this planet. Food, water, ways to build shelter, um, and then so much more on top of that. I mean, the beauty of this planet just seriously boggles my mind. When you stop to slow down and notice the details and everything that this planet is, how can we not feel a deep sense of just love and belonging and gratitude and how can we not want the best for our home? Not just our physical home, but our, our spiritual home. We have to want the whole package. Especially if we truly want to heal this entire planet. This is something I believe so deeply in because it has completely altered my life over the years and I want to be able to share that because I think a lot of us don't want to talk about or remember bad things that have happened in our lives and I'm not saying that you should go around ruminating on all the terrible things that have happened in the past but sometimes things come up and you're like, no, 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 I don't, nope, don't want to think about that, don't want to go there, and you just, you shove it down. And you tune out and you want distractions, whether that's TV or alcohol or food or whatever the outside source may be, instead of turning inward and literally looking inside yourself and saying, okay, yeah, that time that my mom looked at me and said I was an ugly little girl, that I was mean, um, that really, really sucked. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that from their parents. And it's not, it's not funny. That's my nervous coping mechanism. So it's okay. It's okay to feel sad about those things. It's okay to allow those emotions to come up and say to your inner child, no, that was no okay. That was coming from someone that was deeply wounded themselves by their parents. And I don't want to continue that vicious cycle. I don't want to be that person that when I get hurt, I throw those things out at other people. And I call them names. You know, if someone's genuinely being mean to you and treating you badly, like, of course, stand up for yourself and say, this is not okay, I don't accept this. Um, you know, not saying to be totally passive about those things at all. Um, but 
we have to know the difference, the difference in our intentions. Are we throwing things out to attack others in order to make ourselves feel better? Or is it genuinely because we want this person to know that their hurtful behavior is not okay? Um, you know, you can't fight fire with fire, right? <laughs> and I'm learning that time and time again in my relationships. Um, so there, there's, yeah, there's a lot of things coming up there too for me and being able to talk about what hurts us and being able to express that. And people that aren't able to do that, they're not going to be accepting. People that aren't able to acknowledge their own hurts, how they've been hurt, how they've hurt others. When they want to shove that down and not deal with it and not accept it, you can't expect people that are in that mindset to, to change and to be open to seeing where you're coming from so um you know this is something i'm learning more recently because i want to share my truths i want to be honest and authentic and um my intention truly is for the highest and greatest good of all with ease and grace um but it doesn't always go with ease when people uh, are just not open and, and they want to stay closed and they want to reject. Um, you can't you can't those you can't force those walls to come down. All we can do, right, is is work on tearing down our own walls. So that's that's the whole point of this meditation is to work on tearing down those walls to look deep deep within ourselves deeper than we want to go sometimes to allow that healing because it is so the pain the suffering is so deep rooted for so many of us um you know, especially for minorities right now. Um, I just, the word is just so sad. It's sad in the first place that we even need something to describe that kind of um, just terrible energy that we put, we literally labeled others less than. None of us should have to feel that. None of us should have to feel that we are, are less than. Because you're not, it doesn't matter the color of your skin, the clothes you wear, how much money you have, what college you went to, uh, if your partner or spouse is attractive, if um you have an amazing car At the end of the day not even just it just doesn't matter what matters is truly what's on the inside what truly matters are the connections that we build with people that desire that desire that love to to embrace and create and expand that is in essence what this universe is that is that is the heart mind and soul of god if you just sit in nature and look around and really really take time to feel it feel the energy around you 
do some grounding, get barefoot, put your toes in the sand, walk on the beach, um, and just seriously soak in and admire and appreciate what's around you. Appreciate the waves, the color of the water, the sounds, um, the smells, everything that you see, the seagulls on the beach, the shells, the seaweed, all of it comes together in the most beautiful, magical way. And that's why I love watching things like Planet Earth. Um, and it's kind of sad that we need to watch things like that to be reminded of how incredible the world is. Like we need what like music and like close-up shots and um, when we can literally walk outside. <laughs> we can walk outside and we can walk through the water and we can um, travel and do all these incredible things. And yes, for that reason, for people that don't get to travel a lot, planet Earth is incredible because it takes you all over and immerses you directly in these places that we can't frequently visit for one reason or another. However, I think the point that I'm trying to make is that we just need, we just need to appreciate being outside in nature more. Appreciate the life that is around you that you see on a daily basis instead of waiting for these few, few and far between moments of watching the nature channel or whatever. Um, sorry, I know this isn't the greatest video, but I promise I'm going to make better ones. <laughs> uh, I really hope that this meditation has been helpful for you. Don't hesitate to comment, give me feedback, um, ask questions. Um, and if you would like to meditate together, great. <laughs> Let me know. I'm open to making um, more interpersonal uh, direct videos. So that might be more helpful for some people. This is just the first one that I chose to do. And it's really important to share with everyone the things that have been coming up for me because I think that is how we truly can heal each other and just expressing our stories and, and what helps us overcome things right? I mean, you got to start, you got to start with step one in any recipe. And when you reach the end result that you want, and you are happy with it, of course, you're going to want to share that with people. So I'm just sharing my basically recipe for peace, inner peace and, um, happiness because I do feel so much more balanced and have so much more clarity that that kind of joy is almost indescribable um, and it's taken me a while to get to this place so don't judge yourself please when you first start meditating it's okay. You're going to go through periods of frustration of not um, maybe thinking you're doing it right or whatever. But just trust. Please trust yourself. Trust the process. Um, and if you don't like this video, that's okay. There are so many other meditation videos out there and I'm 
happy to even share some with you or just search for them on YouTube or anything on Google and see what works for you. But I genuinely hope that this one does. So thank you so, so, so much for listening and doing this with me. I wish you all so much love and light and peace, especially during these interesting times. And may you all know this level of divine healing this level of peace and happiness is available to you at any time. It just takes the ability to be able to tap into it, to tap into source, to release all the icky stuff that we don't need. All right. Talk to you soon.